Well, hello, boys and girls. It's time for our February lesson. And this month, we are actually going to have two stories that go together and kind of uh, one explains the other. So I'm going to teach the first one on this video and then come back for the next video and you'll be able to hear the second part. Now, this first story is actually just pretend. It's a make-believe story. And the reason we're going to use this story and use our imaginations to think about the stories to help us understand what happens in the Bible lesson when we talk about the book of Philemon in the Bible, which is in the next lesson. So this first one is about a little mouse. And the little mouse's name is Willie. Now, mice can sometimes be like men. We're going to be talking about men when we talk about the book of Philemon. And then we're talking about mice in this little fun story, made up story. And mice and men can be alike. Men or children especially are often very curious, right? Boys and girls can really be curious. If you don't know something, you just have to figure it out. You want to find out. And mice can be like that too. They want to get in there and figure out what's going on and get into things. And mice can be really hungry, which we're going to find out in this story. And kids can be really hungry too. Men can be really hungry. And um, so in some ways they're the same. But we're also going to find out that in some ways they're different. Now, this little mouse, Willie, he lived in a little hole in the wall next to the kitchen of a house. And he didn't like to be around the people. He didn't want to be noticed. He kind of liked to scurry around and look for little crumbs and little tidbits on the ground. But he usually did that at night when the people were asleep. So he would wait and, and he would sleep during the day and then he would wake up and then come out in the night. And so one day he woke up and it was night now and he was thinking probably the first thing that you think about when you wake up, which is, boy, am I hungry and I can't wait to find something to eat. And so as Willie's sitting up and maybe he's stretching a little bit, I don't know if my stretch, but if he did, all of a sudden he caught the scent of something. And wait a minute, what is that? I smell, little Willie smelled what Will, little Willie loved the best. Do you know what it is? Yeah, cheese. Mice love cheese, at least we imagine they do. And little Willie caught the scent of cheese on the air. And so he thought, oh, I'm so hungry, I haven't had breakfast yet, and I can smell that cheese. I, I've got to get out there and find where that is. I wonder if some nice human left some cheese for me. I want to find it. So he snuck out of his little hole, and he looked across the kitchen, and sure enough, across the kitchen, he saw something, something that looked like it could be cheese. So first he checked to make sure the cat wasn't around. That's important to do. And then he crept across the kitchen floor. Sure enough, there it was. There was this piece of wood and it had some silver, silver metal, shiny pieces of wire coming out of it. And on one of those shiny pieces of wire, there was, yeah, that's Limburger cheese, his favorite. There was a big chunk of Limburger cheese right on that shiny piece of metal sticking out from that piece of wood. Well, you and I, we know what that piece of wood with the shiny metal is, don't we? We know it's a mouse trap, but Little Willie, he was just a young mouse, and he'd never seen a mouse trap before, and he didn't know what that was. He thought it was just something that had been left there for him to enjoy. You know, boys and girls, this sounds a lot like what Satan, the devil, does. He puts things in our path that look good to us. We think that they look good and inviting and like something we would want, and really, they are just very dangerous and harmful to us. In fact, the, the pleasures of sin are really just a bait by Satan to get us caught in the trap of sin and ruin our lives. And that's the way it happens. And that's how it was happening for Willie. So he looked at that trap with that delicious looking cheese. And suddenly something occurred to him. Something his mother had said. What was it? She had warned him about something. It's like a, what did she call it? Trap. Yeah, it was like a trap. And she said, she had told, told him the story about, about his Uncle Bill. And Uncle Bill had gotten caught in one of those traps, she had said, and that no one ever saw him again after that. Wait a minute. Do you think that this, this piece of wood with the metal and could that be a trap? Oh, no, he didn't want to be like Uncle Bill and be never seen from or heard from again. He was getting out of there and he ran back into his hole as fast as he could. But you know, that piece of cheese just kept sticking in his mind. He kept thinking about it and 
The more he thought about it, the more he really, really wanted it. He wanted to taste it. He wanted to smell it again. In fact, he started to think, you know, that story my mom told me about Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill was probably just careless. He probably tripped or something happened. I, I don't think that's going to happen to me. And anyways, why is my mom telling me not to go near those kind of things? Because it just seems like, like she just doesn't want me to have fun or something. I mean, she's probably just being old fashioned is what she does sometimes. And she just wants to keep me from enjoying myself. That's probably what it is. So Willie snuck back out the hole across the kitchen over to the trap. He started walking around that trap, walked around it again, and walked around it again. And then very slowly, he put one little paw up on the trap and took a little nibble of cheese. Nothing happened, but the cheese was delicious. Oh my goodness, it was so good. And you know, boys and girls, Sometimes kids feel the same way that Willie did. They start to think, well, my mom and dad, they just don't want me to have any fun. And that's why they make these rules. That's why they tell me not to do these things. And they start to think it's not a bad thing to disobey because they're just trying to keep me from having fun. And so they start to go ahead and they start to little by little do these things that they know are wrong because they convince themselves that it's okay. And it's not dangerous, just like Willie did. Well, back to Willie, he took another little nibble and then another, and every time he'd kind of watch and nothing would happen. I thought, well, how can this be so bad? It still it tastes delicious and nothing's happening to me. This is, this is like the best breakfast ever. And he started to think, if it's this good, it can't be a bad thing, it's gotta be a good thing. And so sure enough, he took another bite and another and a big bite and then whap, the trap flipped and up in the air went the trap upside down and the wire snapped right on top of Willie. And that was the sudden and tragic end of little Willie. Now, how did Willie get caught in that trap? Did he just run out of his hole and run straight over and fly into the trap? Nope, he didn't. He just sort of eased into it gradually, little by little, convincing himself that it was okay, getting a little bit bolder every time until it was too late and the trap caught him. Do you know that that's how the devil catches us in his traps too? In his traps of sin? He, he just convinces us that we sh it's okay just to do this little thing wrong. Just disobey our parents a little or maybe just take something small that doesn't belong to us or just cheat a little bit on the test or lie just a little bit to our parents and then we don't get caught. Nothing happens, we think, well, it can't be that bad. And so we do it a little more, a little more, until we're deep into sin, firmly caught in the devil's trap. And, you know, we might think we're not going to get caught, just like Willie thought he wasn't going to get caught. But in the end, sins will catch us, right? All right, well, that was just a make-believe story, right? But the reason I told you was because I want to help you understand our Bible lesson this month, which I'm going to tell you on the next video, so make sure you watch it, about a man named Onesimus who got caught in the trap of sin. And boys and girls, we get caught in the trap of the sin too. And so watch this next video because we're going to learn about how Willie, he didn't have a way out, did he? He was caught and it was over. But there is a way out for us from the trap of sin, and that is through believing in Jesus. So make sure you watch the next couple of videos so you can find out more about that.